Two weeks ago, I was very shamefully scrolling on YouTube shorts. I'm about to go to bed and I see a video from this dude. He's rolling around on the floor, doing all these crazy moves, doing all these crazy stretches. He's really flexible. I'm like, okay, who's this guy? So I go and check his channel out and one of his most popular videos caught my eye. Why I went to the floor instead of the bed. It's about an eight minute video from a guy called Mike Chang. I watched the whole thing and he basically explains how he used to be really big into bodybuilding. Yeah, being a really big guy, he never really thought about his health that much. And he started sleeping on the floor and he saw that his body was less tight, his body adapted to the floor, it was much stronger, he was waking up with more energy and like, Fuck, I gotta try this. I have to try this. My life's becoming a bit boring. I'm doing the same shit every day. I gotta try this out. Let's just go for seven days. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it's like 9.30 at night. I'm scrolling through YouTube. I'm about to hop into bed. I'm like, let's do it. Let's just sleep on the floor. So the first night, I wake up about three or four times in the middle of the night because it was very uncomfortable. Yo, so before we jump into the video, please listen to your body. Do not listen to me. I am simply sharing my experience, okay? If something works for me and it doesn't work for you, don't do it, okay? This is only my experience. I just wanted to say that before we jump into the video. I'm not saying that sleeping on the floor is really good for you or it's not good for you, whatever, yeah? I'm just sharing my experience. Back to the video. I slept with a yoga mat, my pillow, and my blanket. That was it. Just a yoga mat on the hard floor, wooden floor. It wasn't my mattress on the floor. It was a yoga mat that isn't the best yoga mat. So I probably got around, I'd say two, hours of sleep, two, three hours of quality sleep. So I woke up very tired and like to myself, is this even worth it? But the guy who I watched the video from, he was basically explaining how you, yeah, your body has to adjust and you need to get used to it. It takes a few days, it might take, it take a few weeks. So I'm like, fuck it, I'm being disciplined, I'm doing it. I'm not letting you guys down. I tell myself I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it. So day two comes around and I'm pretty scared. I don't really wanna hop into bed. You know, it's like the first time I don't really want to hop into bed because it's going to be uncomfortable, but I do it anyway. And day two is very similar to day one. I'll probably get around maybe four or five hours of sleep today. I'll maybe wake up around two or three times again. But I saw one massive difference on day three. I woke up. So day two, I woke up on day three. And usually in the morning, I do a little stretching because my body is pretty tight in the morning and I thought that was normal. And I saw that my body was not very tight at all, especially my legs. Because when you're laying in the bed, your body isn't getting any pressure, it isn't releasing any tension because the bed is so soft. Well, with me anyway, my mattress is pretty soft. So I'm as flexible as I would be after running when my body's all warmed up. Meaning if my tension is gone in the body, I can work better, my mind is crystal clear, my creativity is so much better. Everything in my life improves when the body is not under so much tension. And what Mike Chang, if I'm saying his name right, uh, said in the eight minute video I watched was that sleeping on the floor acts as a basically an eight hour massage. Think of a foam roller. If you've ever used a foam roller before, I use one probably every single night. It feels very good after you finish foam rolling. Yeah, especially when you exercise, you're an athlete, etc., etc. et cetera. It feels great. Imagine doing that for eight hours, especially the quads when you lay on your side. You are going to feel like a whole new person. And that's what I felt, even though I got like four or five hours of sleep on day three. I was still tired, but my body, because it was less tight, was able to give me that energy that I needed. So I'm real excited, I can't wait. Imagine when I'm getting eight hours of quality sleep every single night with this newly found relaxation that I'll usually get from stretching. So day four, I had my first full sleep. Seven or eight hours, I can't exactly remember. It was amazing. Woke up, day five, feeling great. Pretty much the same as day four or three. Like, I can't even remember. The last day I said, but I was less tired. Usually I complete all my work for the day, like, you know, editing videos, working out, reading, if, I, if you want to call that work. All the tasks I have set that I will do every single day, regardless of how I feel two hours earlier than I would have normally. Usually I finish around five or six o'clock. Today I finished at 3.30. I had an extra an hour and a half just because I could work for longer. I didn't need to have as many breaks. So I spent another hour reading. So I spent two hours reading every single day. I spent that time replying to comments on my YouTube videos. Just this extra bit of time would go so far. Now, this is where things get very interesting. 
I have this open mind. It's like, this is amazing. I've just found a whole new me with sleeping on the floor. But day five or going to day six comes around and I had a pretty busy day that day. Yeah, I had some family stuff to go to. I had to go to a birthday. So I was working basically all day other than the birthday. I got all my work done at like 10 p.m. work, if you want to call it that, even though I love it. So I was probably only going to go on about seven hours of sleep. But I ended up waking up because I was so tense in the body, right? Because I hadn't relaxed. I usually do my night routine where I relax. I hadn't done that tonight. So I hop into bed real tight and I end up waking up in the middle of the night and I just can't get back to sleep. No matter what I do, I just can't get back to sleep. That comfort isn't there. So I hop back into bed. I hop in my bed because I'm like, I can't get to sleep. <laughs> and the guilt of just knowing that I told myself I'd sleep on the floor for seven days, it just, it just had rose in my mind. So within five minutes, I was back on the floor again. And it probably took me about 20 minutes to get back to sleep. I probably only had about three hours of sleep that night, but I woke up even better than I would have normally with the sleep in the bed with like three hours of sleep. And day seven was very similar to day like three or four, I can't exactly remember, where I had that full eight hours of sleep and it felt amazing. So much more productive, finished my work early, got extra work done. When I was stretching, I felt so much more loose because again, the massage the floor gives you. Now day eight, because I've finished the seven day challenge now, I decide to go one day just sleeping in the bed because at this point, the floor has given me so many benefits that I'm just gonna keep sleeping on the floor. So I take one night to see if anything changes and I sleep in the bed. Nothing major changes. It's a more comfortable sleep, but I wake up tight again. I don't wake up as good as I'm feeling because my body hasn't been released of tension from the hard floor. I wake up and my hamstrings are tight, my quads are tight. Yeah, I can't even touch my toes. When I would sleep on the floor, I could easily do that. And it was harder for me to wake up because it was so comfortable. The floor isn't that comfortable, so I could just easily get up and get my alarm clock, it's all good, let's go. So I've been sleeping on the floor for the last 10 days now, and it has changed my whole entire life. Now the most important question, do I believe you should sleep on the floor? It's different for everyone. My mattress is very soft, and I have a lot of tension in my body. Yeah, that's where my tension goes, and that's how I build up stress. So literally, like sleeping on the floor was the best decision I could make. You might not hold a lot of tension in your body. You might be fine getting up in the morning. It's not really hard for you. You don't really think it might be beneficial. I want all of you watching this video right now just to try one night on the floor and see how you, oh, go three nights. Do, do two or three nights on the floor because the first night, again, it wasn't the best experience for me and see if it changes anything. If it doesn't, go back to the bed. If you want to do the seven day challenge like me, do it. I'd say 80% of the people watching this video will get similar benefits to me by sleeping on the floor. Sleeping on the floor may be the best decision you make going into 2024. I will catch you in the next video. Peace.